Good morning, everyone, or good evening, wherever you are. Today's episode is gonna be about 2v1 post plant, and we'll see how that turns out. I had been playing a game, Immortal 3 level, by the way, very high skill level, everyone should know what to do, right? And we are in a 2v1 post plant when we're guarding this spike, because the attackers dropped it on this site. I would like to you to show you that round first and then we're gonna speak about it, okay? So uh, those are my teammates, Reyna and Omen. Loving some Reyna. And we'll see what they're gonna do. As you can see, Spike is left on this spot. Omen, we know that the opposing Omen that is still alive was on market, right? And we have to guard the Spike from him or just kill him and to win the round, essentially. Let's see what our teammates do and then we're gonna talk about the solution to what they did. Ah, maybe, maybe some voice. So we're not playing well. Like right here, the positioning, no one can help each other. See this shit? I have your lane what, what, what if he peeks stairs? You cannot help him. You have to... Last See? See standing. this? That's, that's what I mean. So as you can see, I'm upset as always playing ranked because the Reyna wasn't able to help his teammate who was holding stairs. The problem is with this setup that we have here is that the Omen is in a terrible, terrible spot. On the map, it would have looked something like this, right? We have an Omen who is looking into this direction on stairs and the Reyna who is backside boathouse and is looking at lane. Now the problem is... When the omen goes into the line of sight from the opposing, oh, sorry, if the omen comes into our omen's line of sight, Reyna is way too far away because she needs to have, make like four footsteps to the left to peek into stairs, and that gives the omen enough time to reset his recoil, right, and reposition after he gets the kill on the omen. So it's literally just very inefficient and an easy way of losing the gunfight. And as, as you have seen, like, it was very close to that. Let's rewatch what happened I mean, like, with, with, with this Reyna. Because look, look at this. Look how long it takes when the Omen gets a gunfight. Oh, hello? See this Twitch? shit? See this shit? Yeah, I am seeing this shit. I have your lane, what, bro. What, what if he peeks stairs? Yeah, what you if he peeks stairs? You, you, you cannot, back. see? Look. This is the moment when the Omen had contact. And the Reyna is nowhere near possible to, to, the, uh, to, to, to uh, help, see, right? See this? Omen already repositioned. And if the omen was, would have been smart, he would have not repicked here. He would have smoked it. Then maybe smoke again, get the uh, get this uh, get it uh, get the spike, and just fuck off and went somewhere else, right? Our Reyna unfortunately wins a gunfight in a one v one. But that's about it. Now, how do you fix this? How do you play better in a situation like that when there's a two v one? We know where's the spike. We know where the opposing player is. What do we do to be? A better player be a better teammate in this situation so we go back to develop land and m solutions are two one solution is something that uh i think would have been the most commonly played scenario but also the easiest to execute and there was a second solution that was suggested by the viewer uh of ours in chat that i do think is a great one but it has a one flaw so we're going to talk about two two of them first we're going to talk about this solution play one player uh standing on uh on dice and the other standing in the boathouse looking at stairs and if vision cones would be something like this now what does this achieve right the spike is still in this spot what does this achieve how does this help your teammate from in the game perspective where's the game oh here we go in game it would look something like this our omen is standing on dice like this not exposed to stairs and in a spot where the opposing player needs to commit wide to lane to be able to get a shot on him, right? So when when uh, when a player peeks from here to see the omen that is standing on the dice, he is exposed because he's playing in a really bad angle for himself. What does that do? When the omen has contact, the opposing player peeks into this spot, the Reyna, who is standing like the entire round like this, can literally just do this which takes less than a second to get a trade on the omen when he has contact in case the omen doesn't go into lane but goes into stairs Reyna just stands like this so she see 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 
she's oh she all the way who uh, native speakers please forgive me she can dodge the omen but gets the info so she can literally just hide the moment she sh she sees the omen and play with the teammate and coordinate a double pick for example then you have a plethora of options right you can say to the omen like three two one double pick with me right now right but the thing is if the omen went back to the same position it will end up in the same terrible spot right so what you can do is when the omen is spotted and you go back you tell your omen okay omen three two one peak and we peak from the same angle and in this case if the opposing player is still in this spot he gets double peaked so you don't want to go from the left side right here to do a double peak because the opposing omen can go back as he did actually and had a chance at outplaying the reina but if you both peak from the same angle then you have a proper double peak right let's let's resume let's let's um explain it again one player in this spot holding this lane second player in this spot holding this lane in case lane player gets contact player from bout house repositions doing one footstep to the left and shoots at the instant contact in case player in stairs peaks then we coordinate three two one player from here steps out shoots player from here repositions like this three two one and we fight together right that's one solution the other solution which is a little bit more creative but i think brings more risks um to the game is something that our viewer um higgs um uh, proposed and the 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 way of doing that i don't know why i cannot recall this this camera but it is what it is is a solution like this one player stands in this spot on the dice watching at stairs and the other player is standing in here waiting for his contact essentially what happens on the minimap it would look something like this so the player stands here looks in this direction the other player looks in a wall essentially right so when the opposing omen goes into stairs into contact of the omen reina sidesteps and kills him right as a trade and in case the omen goes onto lane they count on someone falling down and making noise now the problem is there's one potential bad outcome out of this setup it's hard to do it properly with a random teammate that you meet in solo queue because the player here needs to be ultra safe and not every model is ultra safe in the same position for example a sage in this spot a neon a jet they have more hair right they have different like sova has a cape as well so there's a very high chance that when the opponent is just gonna creep up towards here and no one can spot him there's a high chance that you either see a piece of the model from behind the box or maybe a barrel specifically if that's for example phantom sticking out here and that makes it an unnecessary risk that i didn't like it for playing with a random player that's why i would prefer to have both players holding two different angles and now the thing is this is very effective if played properly i don't see a way of losing this if if this if the player is not spotted from behind the box right if you know how to hide if you know how to not get exposed because you don't have a phantom like if you have a phantom the barrel is 100 percent visible here if you just make one mistake of making one footstep too much forward or too much backwards then either your back or your gun is exposed and you're gonna get spammed by a player who went here right so but hey those are the two possible outcomes of how to be a better teammate and both kind of rely on trading one player which is one of the fundamental rules of this game trading right and trades are not appearing like in the clip that reina took like three seconds to kill the omen or four seconds that doesn't count as a trade that's a separate gunfight if you want to trade it needs to be instant omen has contact like omen shoots right now i'm repeating and shooting instantly if you kill the opposing player in less than a second from the moment when he starts shooting your teammate that is a proper trade at least in my eyes thank you for watching hope you guys learned something just to reiterate one of the setup right one of the setups and the other one 
was like this. That was the other, well, not this, here. That was the other setup. They both rely on double peaks and trading. Hope you guys learned something. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next episode of Lotus Lab. Where's the stop button? Stop recording.